my ideology before EDU224. Before EDU224, my knowledge was very limited. I thought that education was only about learning and passing exams. I thought that going to school equaled go to school, sit exams and follow the national curriculum. What is an ideology? Bartlett and Burton in 2016 defined an ideology of education as a set of beliefs and attitudes, whereas Matheson in 2016 defined education as a package of educational ideas. In this module I found that from my own education that exams and standardised testing is extremely st stressful for all students. You are taught to revise, repeat, do not stress or panic, remember from your lessons. From a young age, you have your Year 2 SATs, your Year 6 SATs, GCSEs, A-levels and even university. Through Montessori, I learned that she believes that there should be no standardised testing. She believes that children will learn through their senses. This will engage them with their own hobbies and interests and allow hands-on activities with real utensils. Minor schools, children begin to gain a sense of community and are able to work within groups with other children by the age of seven. During kindergarten, they do not display any of the children's work. Teachers are taught during their teacher training to be more positive, creative and to respect all children. Another aspect of EDU 224 is the Finnish education system. I learned that they have no standardised testing, they ensure that all children receive constructive feedback, they promote creativity, they ensure that there are fewer school hours and that the education across the country is free. Well, it's something that I've never had any experience with. However, for EDU 224, I've learned that they have to pay for exams and resources. They have one-to-one -one sessions. The teaching style can be adaptive, engage with their interests and hobbies, and they do not have to follow the, their national curriculum. Following ideas from Montessori. The idea of learning through senses and multi-sensory development. This is because I feel that this enables the child to develop and understand new experiences in the classroom and through multi-sensory development, it enables the child to remember and learn more. With the following from Sana schools, that through their teacher training, they have to be more positive, creative and respect the child. This will mean that children are more motivated and engaged with their own education, meaning that through respecting the child, they will be a more willing learner wanting to go to school that there will be less classroom disruption. The following from the Finnish education. Free education and less school hours. This enables everybody to have the same opportunities. There is no division in any social class or equal. Through the less school hours, this encourages more children to play, which enhances social and physical development. Here with the following. That the children receive a one-to-one -one education from their teacher, tutor or parent. This enables them to build a rapport with them, encourages the child with their own education, which will enable them to be more motivated. The teaching style can be adapted. On EDU224, I've learned that assessments, tests and exams may have hindered my own creativity. Through my placement experience, I've seen that children seem to be less engaged and demotivated. This may be due to the, the amount of pressure on children to pass their exams and to attend university. In conclusion, I feel the perfect education would be to display all children's work promotes positivity, to ensure that all teachers motivate, encourage and respect all children, or that group work is encouraged. I also believe that education should be free until university. Or I also believe that schools should follow the national curriculum with the idea of creativity and learning through their own senses. I feel that schools should have fewer hours and allow for children to, to play more, which will de develop their social and physical development. I also feel that standardised testing should only be the GCC and above levels. Here are all the references that I have used for EDU224 My Ideology video. Hope you have enjoyed.